Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. My name is Hal, and today we're going to take on the Fortree City Gym. Hell yeah we are. Hey buddy, I've met you in every gym so far. Yo, how's it going Champion Bound Hal? How'd you know me, though? Are you, is it like a network of these guys and they just kind of pass along names who they think are going to beat the Elite Four or beat the Gym Challenge or whatever? Fortree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Ha! <laughs> quote. Uh, quote pun. Uh, okay, go for it. Okay. Alright. I thought these guys gave you potions or whatever. I guess that's uh, only in later, uh, later games. Uh, okay, so let's... I think we're going to be relying on Pico quite a bit in this gym because he's got uh, Rock Tomb, which is good against flying type. You know, killing two birds with one stone. Mm-hmm. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. This guy really likes bird Pokemon. These guys all really like bird Pokemon. Jared. <laughs> Doduo. Hey, we haven't seen one of these before. That was really easy. So the, so the gym trainers are level 30, which would probably mean the highest... Uh, oh, you, you're strong. Yeah, we, yeah, I am. Uh, which means Winona's highest Pokemon is probably about 35 ish maybe so my Pokemon are really really over leveled it's a bit weird to be honest hello lady when I taught me personally you can't beat me easily let's see about that let's see about that what's your name Kylie yeah oh Swablu oh he's a cute little thing I'm about to kill you T too easy I was beaten yeah you were Yes, you were. Seriously, this is so far so really, really quite good. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put you there, and I put you there. Uh, no, I've done this wrong. Yeah, no, no, I've done this right. I've done this right, and then way up here, and yay! I used to have a lot of trouble with these this uh, this gym, just kind of navigating it. I guess I wasn't too bright. Uh, shall we switch it up a bit? Let's put Donna out front and try and just attrition. Uh, win by attrition via uh, Surf, because I think Donna might be useful. Might be. There's no need for Winona, our gym leader. Uh, there's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. Well, we'll see about that. Gym trainers are always so cocky, but then I always cut them down a peg. Camper ter ter Terrell? T t t is that Terrell? I guess. Hey, Taylor. Let's uh, let's let's kill you two. Yay, Donald's level 36. And God, I hate Endeavor. Endeavor's such a... It's a ballsy move. You know, if your Pokemon's about to die, use Endeavor. Uh, Winona, I... I lost. Yeah, you did. Terrell. Is that even your name, Terrell? Anyway, let's see if we have a... Uh, well, now that Donna's level 36, uh, I'm not going to use her. I'll try and use Josh. But I know he, Grass type, weak against flying. It's going to be a bit... going to be a bit iffy. It's... Uh, iffy to say the least um, let's just try and get him up to level 36 with this guy I'm probably not going to use him uh, at all for that matter maybe one but I don't know we'll see the lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym as a member of Fortree gym I'm not allowed to lose <laughs> we'll see about that buddy we'll see about that we will see will bird keeper will wingo perfect Yeah, well now you can see why uh, which Pokemon I'm going to use Josh with, if anything. That was easy. It was too much of a load for me to bear. Yeah, it was. Giggity. Oh! Oh, Josh is evolving! Holy shit, I forgot he evolves at level 36! Hot diggity daffodil! Yay! Ah! Uh, he's about to evolve into my favourite Pokemon! Yay! Freaking yes! 
Oh, Josh, today has been your day. Congratulations, you and Josh evolved into a Skeptile. And yeah, I, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but I've always pronounced it Skeptile. And Skeptile is my favorite Pokemon in the world. Yes! Josh, badass. I uh, didn't have, um, get any new moves, which is kind of weird, but I don't care. He's now a Skeptile. He's a badass. Hell yes. Hell freaking yes. This is a good day. Today was a good day. Well, today, well, well I guess we'll see when we uh, defeat Winona. Uh, do do do. And uh, are we there? Yeah, we are. Right, before I challenge Winona, I'm just going to pop back to the Pokemon Center to heal up all the Pokemon that have slightly died. And then we'll take on the challenge. Okay. Alright, Winona. Time to make you my bitch. I'm Winona. I'm the leader of the Fortree City Gym. I've become one with bird Pokemon, and have soared to the skies, and I forgot to change the Pokemon which I'm leading. Hmm. However grueling the battle be- uh, however grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Right, I think right off the bat I'm going to switch to Pico. That was what I was going to do before I was going to lead with him, because I think she leads with a Swallow. I'm not quite sure though, yeah, she leads with a Swallow. Uh, and that's not good for Josh despite the fact that he's now awesome. So, right off the bat, let's switch to Pico. Yes, go Pico. And right off the bat, she's going to use double team. So, this... I think that's the only thing. That's going to be the tricky bit about this fight. The combination of double team and uh, protect. Because Pelipper, she's got a Pelipper, and that Pelipper is going to use protect. It's obvious. And Pico missed. Yeah, this is going to be quite a frustrating battle, I can imagine. Yeah, oh, God damn it. The fact that she's going to be, uh, you know, her Pokemon are going to be hard to hit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you, do you, do you just want to be evasive? Is, is that it? Oh, oh, well done, Pico, for getting a hit in. I think if we get a hit in, that's, that's it. Yeah, look, it's gone. Freaking gone. Okay, what? who's next? Alteria. Right, let's get out uh, Genius, because Alteria is part dragon, um, believe it or not, and Genius has a uh, dragon breath. Oh, right off the bat. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good. Oh, don't be paralyzed, Genius. Don't, don't, don't. Yes. Good boy. Freaking yes. Oh, and that did nothing. Crap. Um, oh well. I forgot Genius is also part dragon, which is not good. Ah, okay, well that's, that's, Altaria is her main, main Pokemon, I guess, so I'm, I shouldn't be surprised that there'll be a bit of difficulty, but I don't know, Pico, let's see, let's see if you can just take care of it. Dragon Dance, what does Dragon Dance do? It uh, raises a few things. Attack and speed. Oof, it's a bit, bit worrying, but Pico... The boss that he is has just dealt with him like a boss. Oh, would you look at that? All right, Pelipper. Josh, now it's your time to shine. Let's uh, let's take Pelipper down. Let's take her down a you know a peg or two. We've got rid of our main uh, leading Pokemon, which is Altaria. So, you know, it's pretty much plain, plain sailing from here. Ah, right off the bat, no protect. No protect for you, Pelipper. Oh. Dear, don't don't. Oh, okay, super effective, but it didn't take. It didn't it wasn't too bad. It's not too bad. I think this is looking good. This is looking very good actually. There well, goes Pelipper. And what's left? That will be uh, Skarmory. Yeah. Right. This is where Donna. I think. I think. I'm not quite sure, but I think Steel is weak to water, which is where uh, I said Donna will come in. And plus, she's part flying, so. Flying attacks won't be too bad. Is oh no, it's not weak, but it's you know it's good. An aerial ace does nothing, and Winona hasn't had a chance to use any freaking hyper potions whatsoever. And there we go. Holy crap! That was far too easy. Far just too easy. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. And, you know, $3,300, that too, or pounds, or whatever. I received the Feather Badge from Winona! Hell yes. 
That was just a really, really good gym battle. We lost Genius, but, you know, he fought gallantly. With a, set, with a Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. Is that Aerial Ace? I believe that's Aerial Ace. Yes, yes, Aerial Ace. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. And I think it's like the quickest, it's like quick attack, but it doesn't miss. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Holy crap. Genius, I'm sorry, you fought gallantly, but I don't know. And well, we did it. <laughs> Christ, that was a really easy gym battle. I'm really glad because uh, I've always had so much trouble with Inona in the past, mainly because of the fact that I've, you know, used Josh, uh, not Josh, Skeptile, uh, Pixrico, that kind of thing. But yeah, that was good. Holy crap, I'm actually kind of a bit gobsmacked at how easy that was. It's, uh, Putting a good light to uh, the rest of the uh, rest of the game, especially since some Pokemon are so over leveled, it's ridiculous. But anyway, in the next episode, I guess we're going to uh, carry on going south down Route 120 towards uh, Lily Cove City and the Safari Zone and everything that direction. Um, but until then, thank you guys for watching. My name's Hal Diamond, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs>